Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a, another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm back from Christmas vacations, from the New Year vacations, from the life vacations that I've been on. Because I haven't made a video in ages, bros, ages. And I just want to thank you guys for the support that I've gotten on my other videos. And it's been great, it's been great. I had a lot of stuff to do, so I've been gone, but... I'm back at it. I'm back at it. All right. So I want some claps. I want some love. I want all that good stuff because we're going to be making some more videos together and we're going to be learning some 3D. Woo. Yeah, bro. Oh my God, bro. We're going to be learning some OpenGL to be specific. All right. So this is a homepage, which is your church now. All right. So you want to go here. You want to baptize your babies and you want to get a new name and you want to get a crazy awakening because you want to come here. You want to go into getting started and you want to just read some of this. Now, you'll be learning most of the stuff from my videos. And I'm not going to steal a lot of stuff from here. That's not my intention. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because it's a great place for references. Great place to learn. This place has taught me more than my school has. Because my school, the way they teach 3D isn't really ideal for me to learn. Now, I'm not going to trash talk them, but anyway... This is the way I learned C++. This and some other videos and all that good stuff. Uh, now you can use this and my videos and I'll be making some examples and all that uh, to walk you through basically most of this. Now my basics in 3D are getting stronger. I'm not really there with the advanced OpenGL stuff, but I will be eventually. I'll be. I'll, I have a big project coming, so I have to. I have to learn. Um, but yeah, I've been. I've been perfecting my basics so I can make these videos and teach you guys to get started. Now, once you get started, you'll be able to learn all the advanced stuff. You'll probably get way ahead of me a lot faster. But, yeah, I, I'm here to help you with the basics. Because I hate learning 3D. I, I gotta be honest. I hated learning 3D. It's super hard. It was super tough. But once I got here and I started learning it, something that took me years, took me just a few days to learn. So, um, I'll promise you, the stuff will seem really complicated, all this stuff, but it's really easy. Now, to get started, this is an intro for the new playlist. Now, I already have one of these playlists, but uh, still, I'm going to make this whole new series from now on. I'll go through basically the same stuff as in the other series. Just I'll keep going and I'll make it better. And the reason I'm doing that because I've kind of forgotten what I did in the last one. Probably go and update that some other time, but whatever. doesn't matter. Now, prerequisites is C++. You want to know the C++ stuff. Now, gladly, or not gladly, luckily, I have C++ tutorials on my channel which are pretty all right if you ask me people seem to like them you guys seem to like them uh, and just go and watch those if you need to learn some more um, something you need to be strong in is pointers and, and some stuff like that and just well yeah, kind of yeah yeah you know for, for we're gonna make games but yeah something you want to know is this is going to be an OpenGL 3d tutorial not DirectX the main difference is OpenGL is basically built on C so C doesn't have objects and stuff it's not object oriented max we're getting is structs all right structs just basic compact data types or whatever you want to call them just compacting data into one type name uh, while directx is built it's a little more modern in that way that it has object oriented stuff um, basically you make objects and then you can send these objects to the graphics card while in in uh, OpenGL is a little different and we'll be learning about that and it'll all make sense. Don't be afraid. That's key here. Don't be afraid. Watch the videos a few times. Make the examples. Program yourself and just watch these things and, and I, I promise you you'll learn because it's not hard. It just seems complicated but this place is great. And once you know OpenGL, whoops, what the hell did I just do? Oh, PayPal. Woo, yeah, woo. I haven't really done it yet but whatever. Uh, but yeah, once you learn OpenGL you might just go ahead and learn DirectX because the differences in the APIs are vast, kind of, but the way you do things is similar, if you know what I mean. The basic ideas are the same of 3D, so yeah. I just wanted to show you that. This is you. This is going to be you in a few, maybe kind of five, six videos. You'll be doing this. All right? You'll make your own example. See how, see how crazy you're going to be? All right? And this might be you right now. And just like, I don't know where to start and I'm gonna die I know that probably wasn't too funny but yeah <laughs> this leads me to this we're gonna be going through some easy vector maths to get started all right this isn't gonna be in this video it's gonna be in the next video but I'll 
tell you maybe just go ahead and check out this site just vectors because they're pretty important in 3d all right everything is basically built on points triangles and vectors and lighting calculations are done with these and it's really really simple a vector is just a magnitude any direction all right that means it doesn't have to have a start point there is a length and there's a direction to it now you can make a triangle with vectors you can you can like with this plane propeller force going forward that direction and size can be your kind of direction and the speed you're going forward and the wind, wind is coming down and whatever and you get another vector where the plane will actually go so you can actually use this we use this in cameras and movements and all that stuff but never the less remember this cat will be doing some good stuff now before I end the video and before I blabber on too much I just want to tell you guys that basically the way this series is gonna go is that we're gonna start off with this intro we're gonna do some math intros we're gonna go to the libraries all right the different libraries you need to actually work at OpenGL now one thing I want to note there is that in this tutorial on learnopengl.com they use something called we're gonna be using glue they use something called glad so that's gonna be a difference but it's so it doesn't really matter all right it doesn't really matter now um, for you it might be really confusing but just remember that while you're reading this just ignore that a little bit maybe you don't this is glad right and uh, I'll be talking about these in the coming videos uh, why we need these but we'll be using something our glue instead and we'll be using the GLFW for the window where is that this is somewhere around here the GLFW all right and then we'll be using GLM as well with which is a math library which they don't say and soil for the textures now all this may say, sound like crazy voodoo stuff but don't worry we'll go through all of it and you'll be experts in no time so yeah that's basically what we're gonna do and before I end the video I just want to show you a little example of what we might be able to do just in a few videos all right we're gonna make a little cat move around and rotate with some basic shadowing see that we're gonna be doing this all right we're gonna be doing this this is just one example and then we might move on to a little more complicated example which is let's see a little bigger to run hopefully this works with OBS running uh, see just a little more complicated with a actual camera and just a plane above now the FPS might seem sucky here but it's really good actually I think it's OBS just screwing around see how these squares and cubes are dynamic and the lights are there and all that stuff specular lighting we'll be talking about that so that's just a few things we'll be doing and how long is the video all right we're good yeah that's just a few things we'll be doing all right so don't worry this seems scary we'll be pros in no time thanks for watching and just take care thanks for all the support during the year i wish you guys the best all right all the best and i hope you guys had a great christmas and new year's and all that and yeah so i'll be seeing you guys in the coming videos all right just take care keep learning and i'll talk to you guys later all right bye bye